Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Unboxed, Watched, and Reviewed. Here on the show, we deal with a lot of shit. Well, today's movie doesn't have any shit in it. It simply is just one big piece of shit. So, what movie is it? Well, let's take a look back and find out. And pull it out. Oh, yes, I just recently heard of this. Mystics in Bali. Have you guys heard of this one? I certainly haven't, but I know one of you out there has. It was recommended to me on YouTube from a girl who said, if you like the movie House, check out this. She said, I guarantee you'll be saying what the fuck a whole bunch of times. It says up at the top, the holy grail of Asian cult cinema. This looks weird, it promises to be strange, and it claims to have one of the most bizarre and shocking scenes in horror cinema. So, with that said, you guys ready to start Mystics in Bali? Play movie. So Mystics in Bali is about this stupid bitch named Kathy and her friend Hendra. Well, Kathy wants to write a book all about Liak magic. That guy looks like he'd be Laura Gemser's brother. But the thing about there's no mud to be proved if one uses it. The next day rolls around and the two begin their quest for magic. They go into a jungle and about 40 feet in, they decide to sit down and take a breather. Just look at the stupid clip in Kathy's hair. Nice snake in your hair, lady. Or are those just pretzels? Let's go, pretty. Nighttime comes and our two idiots run into the most obnoxious and annoying villain in all of Asian cinema history. Now, why wasn't that written on the goddamn box? It's a monster and it's aware that they're there. Did you hear that horrible laugh? Well, get used to it. They're slowly walking up to this crazy fucking bitch who I think is like a monster. Kathy walks up to this witch monster woman and she tells her that she's interested in learning about the Liak magic. Well, of course, the bitch just laughs. <laughs> she says to Kathy, meet me here tomorrow night alone and I will teach you some of our rituals. You can be like a disciple to me. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking through a haunted house and I'm like, okay, let's keep going. The next night, Kathy goes to the woods to meet the witch woman. She finds her and the witch laughs for about a minute straight before circling Kathy, doing these stupid hand motions like she's in the opening of Spice World. Kathy begins to imitate her moves and they start walking in a circle like a couple of moronic idiots while laughing. She must have thought of something funny because she's laughing pretty hard. The laughing was almost unbearable. I couldn't take it. I hated this witch bitch so much. They're both just laughing their asses off. And they're both walking around in a circle. She's not laughing. She does not think this is funny. I guess it's not as funny the second time around. Isn't this movie just a blast? Anyway, the walking in the circle spell causes both the women to turn into animals. Kathy's face is like mutating. What the hell? Her whole face is gone and something's coming out of her mouth. Now she's sprouting out roots and a pig head. What? They both turned into fucking big pigs. First they were in these full body pig suits, which I really did enjoy, but then they morphed into regular pigs. The next day, Kathy's telling Hendra all about it. Worried that Kathy might be getting in over her head, Hendra goes over to his uncle's house to tell him about his concerns. So this guy's just teaching him how to meditate and say mantras and stuff. The uncle explains that his uncle got him the mantras that will be used to fight against the Liak. This little dagger you see here, it's great power, it's yours now. Magic dagger. Take it and increase your power. Kathy gets very ill and she says only the Liak can cure me. So that night she goes out to the woods to find Mrs. Laughs. <laughs> Then finally, something interesting happens. Now Kathy's head just flew off, and her spine is hanging from her head like it's Mortal Kombat. 
The witch says, I need to borrow your head! She's standing there headless and then her head and spine went flying off. Kathy's head flies into a window of some pregnant woman's house. Her head goes under the woman's dress as she's giving birth and I think she's eating the baby? Kathy's head flies back to her body and the witch is pleased. Just look at how stupid this bitch looks. I succeeded finally in moving your head. Kathy says, well thank you, I think I've learned everything I need to know and she goes walking away. The witch then says to herself, Getting out isn't as easy as getting in. <laughs> and of course she thinks this is hysterical. We then see some Asian woman with really wide looking eyes walking around a circle with Kathy. They then drop to the ground and start to mutate. And now Kathy has this weird like rocky mold all over her face. Now the other bitch has got this huge mouth with these glistening lips. Huge lips. Bigger than her face. Monstrous. And her head's turned into like a weird slimy thing. And now she's turned into a, like a giant slimy cocoon. Now her face looks like a frog. She's turning into like a lizard on its back. It's got like segments on its body like a centipede. And now they both turned into boa constrictors and are sliding away. So I guess she was turning into a snake. And there they go. Those are some long fucking snakes. That was really fucking stupid. And she just woke up and she's gagging. She just puked out a mouse. She, and, and another mouse. She just puked out two mice. Hendra says, oh my god, Kathy, what happened last night? And she says, All I can recall is that I saw the Liag Queen and we laughed a lot together. And then... It's an understatement. This strange place where I saw plenty of delicious looking delicacies and I ate a lot of the things that were on the table. Perhaps it was a food last night. Then these three stupid looking balls of fire show up flying around in the sky. You can tell they're hanging from strings because you can see the strings. They're these burning orbs. One of them crashes into the ground and blows up. Kathy rises up from the smoke. So I guess she was one of the flying balls. The other two take off and go flying over the lake. And they're flying off. Over the lake. The lights on the lake look like the lights of a beautiful boat. Hendra gives Kathy an apartment of her own where she can focus on writing her book. It is there where they share their first kiss. Hendra tells her that he loves her so much that he doesn't want her to ever leave. I think perhaps I shouldn't allow you to go back to the USA. I shouldn't allow you to go back to the USA? So they have a master-slave relationship going on, suddenly. Hendra goes back over to his uncle's house to tell him of all the crazy happenings, leaving Kathy alone in her new apartment. Oh, she's got hairy armpits. I haven't seen a woman with hairy armpits in a long time. That's the closest thing to nudity you're gonna get in this movie. The little pussies beneath Kathy's armpits. Her head just flew off again. And the window opened up, and it's flying out. God, when it pans to the side, it's just so jittery. It's making me fucking sick. So sick I gotta take my socks off. You know how sometimes your palms will sweat during a suspenseful scene in a movie? Like the cliff scene from Whitewater Summer, for example? Well, this movie had the exact opposite on me. It was so boring and unintense that my feet were sweating. Kathy's writing in her book in bed. And her head is flying off once again. It's like got lungs. She's flying over the trees. The boyfriend is in the back of a cab. Oh, he opened up the door and he sees the headless body of Kathy. Now there's her head flying and she's got big fangs. The townspeople see the head and they all start poking sticks at it. So she flies off. Then it goes back to Kathy's apartment where Hendra is standing there and the uncle shows up. He then, he took out three long toothpicks and he stuck it into the stump of her neck and it was started steaming. Kathy is forever possessed. 
So they go out to the woods and bury her body. The uncle tells Hendra that her body is going to rise from the grave in three days so the head can attempt to reunite with the body. And if that happens, it's death to all. So they're going to guard the grave so the head doesn't come back to the body. While the men are guarding the grave, the witch appears. <laughs> laughing with the head by her side. The witch and the uncle have a really stupid battle and the bitch kills the asshole. She's zapping the master now with cartoon electricity. That's how I feel watching this, like I'm dying. Then Kathy's body rises from the grave and the witch and Kathy start circling around Hendra. He fell into the grave and now both women are approaching him looking like fucking idiots. Hendra's other uncle shows up and starts fighting with the witch. Just listen to her stupid fucking voice. You are good. Who is she, Frank Oz? Frank Oz is the guy who did the voice for Yoda and Miss Piggy. He also directed Little Shop of Horrors. I'd rather go on a Little Shop of Horrors rant for the last 10 minutes of this movie than even look at the screen. I, I could care less when it fades to black or the credits come up. Actually, I could care a lot because that means I can turn this fucking thing off and know that I'm never, ever going to watch it again. Kathy's walking, the witch is in front of her, walking as stupidly as she possibly can. She's got this stupid makeup on her face that makes her look like Meathead from Meatballs 2. She's shaking her hands and both women with their long hands are crossing their hands over their chest and the master's up on a cliff and a ring of fire just circled Meathead. The dumb witch is now in a circle of fire. May she burn. No, she flew and got out of it. Die already, bitch. Die everybody so this fucking movie will just end. And now some plastic rocks are flying in her direction. He jumped, she jumped. I think by these little jumps they're supposed to be flying. They're not even using the cheap graphics. I'm calling this a holy grail is blasphemy at its best. Now there's the pig body and it's reattaching its limbs. It looks like the bad guy at the end of the video game Manhunt. Now the pig body, the pig body I do enjoy. Look at that stupid looking pig thing. So this other uncle stabs the witch into the pig tit and she morphs into another stupid looking creature. Oh, how frightening. Wow, that was cool. Awesome, that almost grabbed and that was a near miss. I am not done with this movie, but I hate it. Hendra goes up to Kathy's body and... And out pops the witch. The witch bitch. Then, in a truly unique twist, the sun comes out and... She's dying in the sunlight. How original. So the witch melts and... Kathy died and the uncle went over to the... Oh! Special thanks to Grubner, Capia, Dick, your cat, Bally, Booch... It's done. It's over? The uncle just walked over to his nephew, the boyfriend, and it just went to special thanks. Thank God, special thanks to the movie for being over. What a terrible piece of shit. I had a better time watching Heather than I did watching this. It was stupid, it was boring, I was not enjoying myself. And it made me nauseous. The camera work was just terrible, the animation sucked, I don't know what they mean on the back, but that culminate in one of the most bizarre and shocking scenes in all horror cinema. What are they talking about? When her head flew off? If that's what they were referring to, then these people are nothing but fucking idiots. I really didn't like this. So, what do I give it on a scale of one to five? Well, I'd have to give it a zero. This was a bore fest. It really fucking sucked. Annoying characters, a stupid plot, and the worst laugh I've ever heard in my life. I cannot not recommend this enough. Avoid this fucking movie. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.